One for all, all for one. I am Atos. Today, especially for Aito, the international team of Minecraft servers developers, I will help you install Optifine along with Minimap, this time on Forge on version 1.24. I also strongly encourage you to join Aito's Discord where there is a security ranking and go to the website where there is a comprehensive tutorial on making Minecraft servers. To begin with, we need to download some files. You will find links to each of them in the description. The first file goes to the forge itself. We download it by clicking on the installer button. A page with an advertisement appears to us, and here we click nothing. We wait about 5-10 seconds until the skip button in the upper right corner appears to us and we click it, but only it. The forge file should automatically start downloading for us. All we have left to download are the files for Optifine and Minimap. To do this, we go to the official Optifine website and to the downline stack. We expand the tab under the version we are interested in and then download our Optifine by clicking on the mirror of the last file and on the downline button. All that is left is a minimap. We will be using Xyros minimap today. We go into files and look for the version we are interested in and name of forge because fabric is also located here. We click on 124 forge and we download it. But what is a map if we can't see the world map? Therefore, we install the last file called Xyros world map. We go into files and here we are just as careful to click on 124 forge, not fabric. And we download it. After downloading all the files, we enter our Minecraft launcher and we have to run it at least once on version 124. After launching, we can close it. Next, we run our Forge installer. A magic window pops up and we make sure we have the install client option selected. And we click OK. When the program finished playing Matrix, we click OK. Then we go to our .minecraft folder. To enter it, we click the Windows stamp and the letter R like Romeo. We type percent appdata percent and click enter. At the very top of the folder, we can see our .minecraft folder and we go into it. And here I recommend you to make a shortcut to it on your desktop, so you will have easier access to it. To do this, we copy the location of our folder. On desktop, we right click, create a new shortcut, paste the location of our folder, click next and finish. There should be a mods folder in the .minecraft folder. If it's not, there you should create one. Go into it and upload all the other files here. Then close the folder. We launch Minecraft Launcher. We select the Forge version and we click play. After launching Minecraft and entering the world, we can see this distinctive minimap in the upper right corner. This means that the installation of our mod was successful and we can enjoy the game. 
Thanks to Optifine, by using the C key, like Charlie, we can zoom in on what we want to see, just like with a spyglass. And here's an interesting fact, if we use a spyglass and zoom in with Optifine, we will double the zoom effect. Thanks to Optifine, we can use the beautiful inventions, shaders, because why can't we beautify the gym play for ourselves? To use them, we click the Escape button, Options, Video settings, and shaders. And the basic case to use the minimap RM, like Mike, shows us a map of the world, B, like Bravo, set as waypoint, and Y, like Yeti, opens the minimap settings for us.